It is my pleasure to welcome students, parents, teachers, and friends of Goldman High to the 109th Goldman High School presentation ceremony. Would you please stand for the entry of the official party and remain standing for the acknowledgement of country and national anthem. the traditional custodians of this land who have performed age-old ceremonies of storytelling, music, dance, celebrations, and renewal. Okay. Um, we also pay our respects to elders past, present, and emerging, and acknowledge the strength, knowledge, and resilience of all Aboriginal people in the Goulburn area and Australia-wide. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Please be seated. It is my pleasure to introduce the members of the official party for Goldman High School's 109th presentation ceremony. Principal Mr. Manny, Deputy Principal Mr. Vaughn, Year Advisor Mrs. Hanley, PE Teacher Mr. Phelps, PNC Representative Mrs. Highland. I invite Mr. Manny to the stage to give the principal's address for 2021. Uh, thanks, Daniel, and good afternoon to all. Um, I'm delighted to uh, present the principal's report for 2021. I uh, extend a warm welcome to all to celebrate the achievement of our students. Um, I'm incre incredibly proud to present this, uh, to represent this great school, and celebrate with you the successes of our students here today. Um, whilst it has been a difficult year with COVID restrictions and lockdowns. I want to thank our families at Goldman High School for their continued support and trust in the staff um, over here. Behind every prize and every success are the teachers, parents, carers, family members, um, friends and supporters who have been with you every step of the way through the highs and lows. Today we can all sit back and feel very proud of your achievements and who you are becoming as a young man and woman. Your story is still being written. At Goldman High School, we are aspirational. We strive to deliver student-centered learning which is connected, culturally located, authentic and exciting. In 2021, sorry, our collective challenge 
as a school in 2021 is to continue to grow not only strong young men and women who experience academic success, but young people who are compassionate and considerate. For students who will be receiving awards today for academic excellence and other school activities, congratulations and well deserved. Sport continues to be well supported and catered for at Goldman High School by our dedicated and hardworking PDHBE faculty and the whole school. Particularly impressive was our school competing in all the three sports carnival and under very challenging circumstances. I want to congratulate students who will be receiving sports award today. As the principal, the quality for our staff and potential we have for making a profound difference in the lives and learning of students in our care is of profound importance to me. So I feel blessed to be working with some of the best educators um, that I have had the privilege to work along, alongside me. Also want to thank my leadership team, uh, Deputy Principals Mr. Yi, Ms. Ryan and the head teachers for their continuous support. I also want to acknowledge the um, hardworking and dedicated PNC who play such an active role um, in the education of all the students. In particular, I want to thank Mrs. Renee Woodbury, who has been working tirelessly to support the school. This is her last year as the president um, of PNC, and on behalf of the whole school community, I want to thank her for everything she has done for the school. In closing, I want to thank all parents, caregivers, for their ongoing support to our school, and look forward to continuing to build strong working relationship focus on student success next year. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Manny. I'll ask you to remain on stage to present the Year 10 Awards for Excellence and Achievement. The Awards for Excellence and Achievement will be announced by Year 10 Year Advisor, Mrs. Gina Hanley. Okay, the Year 10 awards this year are Gracie Babsa, first, Information Software Technology. Estelle Brown, first, in Agriculture. Chloe Caffrey, second, in Geography. Samantha Costigan, first, Child Studies. Ava Handley, first, Science, equal first, Leadership. Second, English. Second, Physical Education. Second, History. Third, Geography. Holly Kitching, second, Mathematics. Alicia Hollands, first geography, equal first physical activities, sports studies, third mathematics. Olivia Skerry, equal third history. Rachel Wall, first visual arts. Bria Waters, first English, first physical education, first history, equal first leadership, equal first physical activity sports studies, and second in science. Daniel Webb, first mathematics, third science, third physical education. Congratulations, Year 10. Thank you, Mrs. Hanley and Mr. Manny, and congratulations to Year 10 2021 award winners.
I now invite Mr. Phelps to present the sport report, sports report and announce the sporting awards, which will be presented by Mr. Vaughn. Uh, so it's another challenging year again with COVID in regards to sport, but as Mr. Manny mentioned, we were lucky enough to have our three carnivals. We were also lucky enough to uh, have a state softball team this year, and I was very lucky to coach the girls' touch team who made it into the top 10 in the state, but unfortunately we tried our hardest, but we just couldn't get that last game in. Um, with those three carnivals, we have a result for the Whitlam Shield, the winning house for this year, which is Southall. So give them a round of applause. And I'd now like to present our age champions. So 15 years swimming, Will Highland. and Alicia Hollands. Cross country age champions, 16 years, Ava Handley. In 17 years, Bradley Rutherford. Athletics age champion, 15 years, Mitchell Ezzi. Sixteen years, Bailey Hando. and Bria Waters. Going on from our school cross country, we had a zone age champion in cross country as well this year, which is Ava Hanley. Now we also had a few girls represent our school, um, were selected for the rugby team, South Coast Regional Reps. We have Michaela Bamford. Kylie Connell. and Nicola Chandler. Now for our last sports awards, I'll ask these girls to remain on stage and get presented with all their awards at once because we had an outstanding result with our softball team making it all the way to state. Now they did really well to get there and then also compete over those few days. So I'll ask them all to come up. So we have Gracie Bavsa, Estelle Brown, Chloe Caffrey, Georgia Campbell, Ava Hanley, Alicia Hollands, Holly Kitching, Jade Smith, Bria Waters, and Amelia Watts. Give these girls a big round of applause. Thank you. Thanks to your 10. This year, Goldman High School students have again excelled across a number of sports at local, regional, and state levels. Congratulations to our Sport Award recipients 2021. 
I would now like to give a big thank you to our PNC for their ongoing support to Goulburn High School. Parent and community members are an important part of our school community, providing financial support, contributing to school decision making, and building the links between school and home. I would like to invite PNC representative Mrs. Highland to present the PNC awards following the PNC report. Hello everyone. Most of you would know me as Mrs. Highland Head Teacher of Science. And I'm pretty sure most of you also know that I have two children that attend Goulburn High School. Today, I'm speaking to you on behalf of the PNC. I have been involved in the PNC since 2018, when my son and the rest of this group of lovely students started Year 7. For the past two years, I've had the honour of being Vice President, which has allowed me to meet with a group of amazing parents and community members to discuss ways that we can help make Goulburn High School be a centre of excellence for learning. Firstly, I would like to congratulate everyone for surviving the lockdown period. A big thank you to the teachers for putting work up on campus and providing Zoom lessons and cahoots for us to all attend. A big congratulations to all students who did some kind of work during this time. And also a big pat on the back for every parent and caregiver that tried algebra, learnt about World War II, or tackled Shakespeare. It was a tough time for everyone, I think, during that time. Over the past 12 months, the PNC has continued to oversee the running of the school canteen, which has included introducing tap and go payment method, as well as the pre-order app called Quicker. I would like to give a big thank you to all the canteen staff for being so fabulous and caring while providing healthy food for all the students and being flexible and understanding during the lockdown period and the reduced hours during term four. The PNC meet once a month to discuss ways in which we can help the school. This year, we've been helped out by purchasing calculators for the maths faculty, sponsoring afternoon tea for the art club and robotics club, as well as giving feedback on the school reward system and other policies. Next year, the PNC will continue selling book packs and begin to sell the school uniform. We will start selling these items in the last two weeks of the school holiday. I would like to finish my speech by encouraging all the parents and community members to get involved in the PNC. I really enjoy meeting with people that want the best for Goulburn High students and want to encourage, celebrate and support our students' achievements. And on behalf of the parents, caregivers and community, congratulations Year 10. We are very proud of what you've achieved this year. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs Highland. The PNC awards are presented to students have shown a strong commitment to their learning throughout the year. The Year 10 PNC awards go to Jordan Cooper. Rachel Wall. <laughs> Chloe Ware. Congratulations to your 10 and thank you, Mrs. Highland. The following awards are made possible through the generous support of the Goldman High School community, both past and present. I will ask Year 10 Year Advisor, Mrs. Hanley, to come forward and present these special awards.
The Jeffrey Freef Memorial Award for Excellence in Agriculture is awarded to a student who demonstrates a dedication to agricultural studies and application of skills in practical aspects of agricultural subjects. The recipient of the Jeffrey Freef Memorial Award for Excellence in Agriculture is Estelle Brown. The ADF Long Tang Youth, um, Youth Leadership and Teamwork Award started in 2006 to recognize students who demonstrate leadership and teamwork within both the school and broader lo local community. At the same time, they recognize those who display strong values, such as doing one's best, respect for others, and mateship, characteristics that are integral to Australian society. The recipient of the ADF Long Tang Youth Leadership and Teamwork Award is Alicia Hollands. The Australian Catholic University Award is presented to a student who demonstrates a love of English and literacy and demonstrates a passion for reading and writing. The recipient of the Australian Catholic University Award is Danielle Webb. The GHS Consistent Effort in Living, Living the School Value Award is awarded to a student who demonstrated the school values consistently at a school and wider community level. The recipient of the GHS Consistent Effort in Living the School Values Award is Chloe Caffrey. The GHS Living the School Values Award recognizes students who give their best in all areas of their learning. Noah Beresford. <laughs> Jacoby Cook. Thank you, Mrs. Hanley, and congratulations to the award recipients who have worked hard to achieve these honors. Goulburn High School's PBL program allows students to progress through a number of levels by recognizing students' effort and its commitment. Our Positive Behavior for Learning program acknowledges and rewards students who consistently demonstrate our school values of respect, responsibility, and resilience. I would like to invite Mr. Vaughn to present students with the Goulburn High School PBL awards. The PBL Bronze Award recipients are Gracie, Bas Gracie Bassar and Estelle Brown. Wait, do I do the aim? Okay, <laughs> oh, I will. Yep. Yeah, good. Yeah. Georgia Campbell. Mitchell Ezzi. Lily McLeod. Jade Smith. Bria Waters. The following students have achieved a PBL Silver Award. Chloe Caffrey. Nicola Chandler. Alicia Hollins. Holly Kitchen. Christina Lai Tang. Lucas Otley. Amelia Watts. Danielle Webb.
The PBL Gold Award recipient is Ava Hanley. Thank you, Mr. Vaughn, and congratulations to the PBL Award recipients. This is an achievement to be proud of. Our final award is for academic excellence. The student has achieved first place in the year. I invite Mr. Manny to come forward and present this prestigious award. The award for excellence in Ducks of Year 10 goes to Bria Waters. Thank you, Mr. Many. Congratulations to the award winners. You are to be congratulated on your commitment and motivation. That brings us to the conclusion of the Goldman High School's 109th Annual Awards presentation. Congratulations to all our award winners. Thank you, to, thank you to families and friends for joining us online to share our success and achievements. Please stand for the exit of the official party.